Hi guys, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. It's Sunday and I just feel like taking a little break from being indoors. So Matthew said, Mom, let's go for a walk. Say hi, Matt. Hi. And the girls are home. Jessica was in the shower. Natalie's watching a show. My husband is preparing something to eat. And I said to Matt, let's go, Matt. I feel like getting some fresh air. It's so windy and it's cold. You can see how my hair is flying all over. But we came to one of the nearby parks and it's so, so quiet. There's nobody in the park. Uh, we even forget to bring our mask, but it's just the two of us. We're not visiting with anyone. And um, just, just to get some fresh air, it feels nice to get out. Sometimes you need to get out just to, you know, um, look and see all the different things outside and um it changed your mood and, and tomorrow's work and everything is back to monday to friday routine so i just want to take a little break like outside the house because it's so so hard now to go out like we can't even go anywhere just in our backyard or front yard so this is it's really a nice outing so i'm going to show you guys how the park look it's really really quiet and um but it feels nice to be out. So hope you guys did something nice today. Hope you had a chance to go out a little or take a break from your busy schedule and do something that makes you feel different. So I'm gonna um, switch around my camera and show you what it looks like where we are. So I'm gonna show a little of what the park looks like right now. And on a regular, pandemic or anything this park is usually packed with people and kids um, people playing all kinds of game on the grass like soccer and football and a lot of uh, different activities and um, on this side here they have the swings and the slides and the monkey bar that it would be like so packed in a normal day without any pandemic and where we're walking here right now kids will be riding bikes rollerblades scooter all kinds of things and you will it will be nice and peaceful but today it's only me and back to you and it's not to get anything without waiting right and natalie's favorite is the monkey bar this one here and then this is how the park is. Sometimes we'll sit here when we come and watch the kids ride their bikes and then over here sometimes they'll play. But today it's so quiet, so so quiet. I can't believe there will be a day like this when this park will be empty, right Matt? Yeah. Like we would come out here like at nine. 10 o'clock and sit down and this park will still have people shade picnic shelter open it says that it's open let me see so now we're heading back home the park um, is now open to 10 people per gather right now and um, it says um, they can't have more than 11 people in the park at a time right yeah so it's actually open back which is nice but we still have to be careful and make sure we're not there with more than 10 to 11 people in the park it's getting cold now so we're heading back home but it's so nice it does. so guys on our way back from the walk my phone died i'm so sorry we didn't get to show you guys the full journey back but it was so windy and so cold outside my face is still cold my mouth was frozen and i said to matthew let's go home and make something warm so we're gonna make a nice pot of cornmeal porridge if you guys come on down we can do this together so here i have some of the ingredients i'm using for the cornmeal porridge it's a very very simple porridge and this is well known in the whole caribbean and it was a very um popular thing in guyana as well as breakfast or 
at um, like night. People used to have cornmeal porridge. I'm using the Grace brand cornmeal and I like to put the cornmeal in some water before I cook it and I have about three quarter cups of cornmeal here and this will help it to cook without lumps when you do it like this. So I'm just gonna mix it in a little in the water. And this is good. I'm gonna now put some water and milk to warm up on the stove. So in here, I have two cups of milk and two cups of water. So I mix both of them and I'm gonna warm them up at the same time. And then I will add some cinnamon sticks. I'm gonna leave all the measurement in the description below. So two pieces of cinnamon and about six to eight um, cloves, just to warm up in that water to add some flavor. And as soon as this is warmed up, I will be adding my cornmeal into the pot. So our milk and water is hot now and the cornmeal is nice and smooth. It's not lumpy. We're going to add it now to the liquid in the pot. Everything is in and then we're going to have to be stirring this constantly before it form any lumps until it nice and thick and in my house my kids like to drink their porridge they don't like to eat it with a spoon so much so I'm gonna make mine drinkable but you can always cook yours a little bit more with less liquid and you can enjoy yours with a spoon so it's thickening up nicely and I want to add some nutmeg so I'm gonna go in with some grated nutmeg about a teaspoon and this was a request from some of my viewers uh, uh, Donna if you're watching I know you requested for me to make it with coconut milk the vegan style but tonight I don't have any coconut milk handy so I am gonna make your version another night and this is just the regular way with the milk, you can always substitute milk for coconut milk. If you're vegan and you want to make this porridge, there is a way to. So it's getting nice and thick. I wanna add some vanilla extract, about a teaspoon. And in you go. I'm gonna mix this in. And I want to add some powdered milk to add, to add another level of creaminess to this. So just about a half a cup of powdered milk. And you know what? I will whisk that in so we don't get any lumps. Actually, it's melting. And I will be sweetening this with some condensed milk about quarter cup of condensed milk or you can use sugar if you like. I'm just adding the condensed milk for some extra creamy richness. You can add any sweetener of your choice. So I'm gonna add my quarter cup of condensed milk now to sweeten and I'm just gonna mix this in. If you like it thicker than this, please go ahead and cook it some more. If you like it a little bit more on the runny side, you can add some more water or milk. And this is going to be ready in a few minutes. So this is ready. Look how beautiful and rich and nice this is. And you can adjust the taste to suit you. More milk or less milk, more sweetness or less sweetness. So I'm going to pour it out and let you guys know how it tastes but remember not to drink this right away after it's finished because it is very very hot so this is how beautiful and nice it's looking
So I'm just gonna grate some fresh nutmeg on top. And as soon as I grate the nutmeg, they're taking one and go because my kids love porridge. And I did mine in a glass cup so we can get a good vision of how it looks. So there it is, guys. So I am gonna do my taste test now. Hope you guys had a wonderful Sunday afternoon. And thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Mm. I'm clearing off my mouth starch from the porridge. It is so good, so delicious, so rich and so creamy. If you didn't have this for a long time, please give it a try. It is so warm and so comforting. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Please remember to subscribe. You only have to do so for one video. That's it. I want to say stay blessed, stay safe, have a blessed week coming. Bye for now.